Hey everyone and welcome back to Fresh Fin Healthy YouTube. Today I'm back with Kate, the Minnesota Twins Dietitian, aka the Educated Plate. We are going to be talking about pre and post exercise or game nutrition. But first we wanted to get what the players here actually do pre and post game and then we'll come back to what we actually recommend. Yeah, so the typical player, they wake up, they have breakfast, um, they'll do batting practice, prepare a little bit, and then we'll have a quick lunch after that. So breakfast is seven to eight. Their lunch could be as early as 10.30 or as late as noon. The game will be from noon until like 2.30, could be 3.30 depending on how many innings it's been. They have an opportunity to have a snack after their game immediately. And then dinner is from 5 to 6 p.m. So just to have an understanding of what the day looks like. So let's go see what they eat. My name is Dane Hutchin from Colorado. Just got drafted by the Twins. And I'm Ben Rourke but from Verona, Wisconsin. I'm Zach Strecker from Louisville, Kentucky. Hi, my name is Akil Badu. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Hot Atlanta. Yep, that's the, that's the state. Okay, my name is Eiken Menesa I'm from Venezuela. So what I'd like to eat for my game is something light, something that's going to give me, you know, the energy I need to, to play my best. But generally, I don't like to eat something too heavy. Fruit, some meat. I like cheese, so I like to get a little cheese in me. I like to hydrate as well, a little Gatorade, some water. Preferably orange Gatorade. And usually when I prepare for a game, I try to eat a little lighter before, so I'm not uh, kind of dragged down during the game, I feel like. So I try to have a lot of fruit, a lot of water, because I catch, and I mean, I'm sweating a lot down here in Florida. Uh, before a game, I like to eat some fruit, get me going. I like to eat spinach and ham omelets. I love eggs. I like to have a little bit of chocolate milk. Adds a little bit of sweetness to the morning. Add some water. My pre-meal, I will have uh, bread with peanut butter and sliced bananas on top of it and put, put it on the toast. I have that because it's good protein and it keeps my energy up. Um, I like to eat before the game. I like to have some salad with chicken. And I like to drink some water too because that helped me for after the practice. And then post game, <clears throat> after I've kind of burned a lot of calories and all that, I like to get a quick snack in before dinner, which is around like, Five. Usually we're done with our games by three, so there's kind of like a two hour time where you're kind of, you're hungry, but you don't want to eat too much for dinner, before dinner. Um, so usually I get like a sandwich in me or something kind of light. And uh, after the game, I'm pretty hungry, so I, I'm a big chocolate milk guy, so I drink a lot of chocolate milk, a lot of meat, and yeah, fruit as well. My post meal, I had um, a smoothie that I tried with. Uh, so at dinner, I like to refuel with a little you know, meat, salad, rice, try to keep my calorie counter up. After a game, I definitely like to, you know, have some salad, a lot of meat, some more fruit. If there's always some fruit, always skip the vegetables though. The vegetables are really good. <laughs> and dinner I had teriyaki with broccoli, vegetarian rice, with, and um, some fruit, watermelon, which I like. When the game done, I like to eat something that I find like, uh, like, like not heavy for me before I sleep. So I take some, some rice or chicken, whatever they have. And then at night, I like to kind of follow that up with a lot of water to rehydrate. Before I go to bed, I usually eat some fruit to kind of keep me going and give me a good night's sleep. So Later at night, I'll probably snack. I come downstairs, have a sandwich, uh, peanut butter, banana sandwich usually, and then maybe like a smoothie or stuff they have in the fridge. And then before I go to bed, I always finish off with some cottage cheese. That, that always seems to get me through the night and into the next morning. Um, for later, I just take a couple of yogurts and fruit. That's what I eat during the day. Okay, so now you got to see a little bit of what they eat throughout their day. This is kind of what we recommend. So having a small amount of protein before a game is key. So we offer two different kinds of maybe chicken or a tuna salad or um, some lean meat, uh, beans, something like that. And then high in carbohydrates, so you have enough energy for the day. I often push fruit because here in Florida, it's so hot. Well, something easy to digest that's not gonna be weighing you down, that's high in fat. Um, so high energy, a little bit of protein. Post game, having a lot of our guys are like, I need to have meat, I need to fuel up protein. So it's really important to have a lot of carbohydrate after your game as well, because you're burning all this energy and these games are long. So, you know, after the end of the game, they really need to replenish their 
glycogen stores and you know build their muscle with protein but I try to remind them that having a plate full of protein which is often a time I'll like intervene in that moment um, that's not gonna help them. A good pre-game or exercise snack or meal could be anything from avocado toast to eggs and toast. Um, <laughs> lots of toast going on. Yeah, we do but do lots of toast. For but, sure. we, but we can also have smoothies. Anything that's a lot of carbohydrates with a little protein and not too much fiber. And then post-workout is a lot to do with the ratio of some really good carbohydrates and then some protein as well. A lot of people get a little confused and want to just eat tons of protein and that's right. it. But it's more about replenishing those carbohydrate stores and then also getting that protein in to refuel those muscles and stop that muscle breakdown. And that's the thing, it's different for everyone, especially pre-workout. It depends what works with your body, what digest well, what you can play off of and so or exercise with. So you kind of have to explore, you kind of have to try things out when it's not gonna be a serious game or when you it's just more relaxed just to see what works best with your body. But anyways, that is it and there is your top pre and post workout or game nutrition tips from me, Sarah Grace, and Kate, the educated plate over here. Click the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, Fresh Fan Healthy. And follow us both on Instagram, at Fresh Fan Healthy and at Educated Plate. So until next time, hope you guys like this. See you later. Peace. Don't make it so good. Okay. Okay. Do it yourself, you're a man. All right, Here's I'm totally winging it. I haven't even thought about it. So. I'm like you, I haven't even thought. We're not preparing for <laughs> Stop doing that. No, See, I, I knew this was gonna happen. I mean, did yeah. you say you were from Wisconsin or you just say your name? <laughs> Sorry, I got tongue twisted. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, Fresh and Healthy. And do you have a jail? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have a jail yet. I'm always used to going out. <laughs>